good morning from Auckland. Much yesterday, um, I was just so exhausted. We travelled for 38 hours straight in order to get here. Um, the time zone change is absolutely crazy. Back home, it is about uh, 11 p.m. and here it's 11 a.m. So my body's feeling a little bit messed up, but we did actually manage to get loads of sleep last night and went to bed as soon as we got here and just slept right through until 8 a.m. this morning. And yeah, just been unpacking, get everything sorted because we are in this hostel for the next two weeks. I will give you a room tour this afternoon when I've had a chance to make the room look a bit prettier than it is now. But right now we're just going to go to a place called Street Food Alley or Food Alley I think. Um, it's basically just a street where you can get loads of different street food. Hopefully there will be a few different cuisines from around the world there that we can try. any of this is open yet not quite but Japanese is and the Japanese place is also closed I think we're gonna come back here later for food in the evening but for now better go find somewhere else for breakfast we're we gonna go for burgers then oh, 100% they have free range of everything It's 100% organic and it's absolutely full of cheese and salad and burby sauce. Hot sauce. Lots of flavour. Hot sauce. The only thing that I would complain about is that they give us ketchup as a sauce and I absolutely hate ketchup. But what can you do? I'll buy a spot of sauce to carry around in future. gonna go for a walk along the pier I think it's eastwards um, anyway we're just gonna walk around the seafront because apparently there are some lovely beaches about three kilometers of walk um, it's absolutely lovely out here and this is probably the most beautiful harbour I've ever been in look how nice some of these yachts are to West Haven Beach and it is beautiful. I was hoping for a quick dip in the sea because it's so hot but there are warning signs saying that they highly suggest you don't go in the water due to high levels of bacteria. So I don't think we'll be going in but it's a good place to take some photos so I'm gonna do a quick photo shoot here. Look at Jake carrying both my bags, he's so nice. How does it feel to be a pack mule? <laughs> See all these? They look like stones, but they're actually all shells. of the photos from my parents wedding um, so they'll be on my Instagram soon link in the bio I've um, got changed put a little bit more makeup on and we're about to go out for an evening meal before we do so I'm gonna give you a quick room tour so this is our room it's pretty basic there's not much to it 
we've got a Jake on the bed and that's all his stuff you can see. He's the messy one out of the two. That's and unfortunately we have bunk beds because we tried to book a very popular hostel at the last minute and they only had twin beds available. So yeah, I guess take a lesson from that and try not to book the last minute. Um, we've just basically got a chair and a windowsill. And here's the view outside. Um, it's one of the main streets so it does get pretty loud. But you know, we're in a great location so I can't complain. And then we've also just got a wardrobe. Where we've just chucked all of our stuff in it. Yeah, so that is the whole room. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. The link to my Instagram as well will be in the bio if you want to check out any of the photos I've taken while I'm in Auckland. So we found the beach, um, but there's a warning sign saying that you want to climb the water. It says we highly suggest you don't. It's like high levels of bacteria in the bay. Oh no, they all shed. Um, they're all shed. I just opened some of the shells. Yeah, but they all shed. Like the same. Don't know.